Every time you start the game and hear this scream far away, you know that would be a fast game. Ness was the first killer added to DBD as DLC character. And yeah, right from the beginning she was totally broken. Back then developers did not look at this game as a competitive balance game and more like a horror game. She had full movement speed, absolutely broken power to teleport around everything with three blinks by default. Her add-ons were ridiculously strong as well. It was clear that she was too powerful. So after around a month, they decided to nerf her a little. They reduced her movement speed, amount of blinks was reduced to two, and her add-ons were changed as well. And finally, they added the lightborn mechanic. If you don't know what it is, I don't blame you, as even though it was removed just recently, it was rarely used even before. Basically, if survivor would use a flashlight on a nose holding her blink, that would stun her after a few seconds. And if flashlight is pointed at her before she started to use her power, she couldn't do it at all. But even though these changes made Nurse a little bit weaker, she was still incredibly strong. At least it would seem so? But if you would check the kill rate, Nurse was actually the weakest killer of them all. How could that be? How can the strongest killer get the minimum amount of kills per game? Basically, that was all because of the fatigue mechanic. After a blink or two, you are entering a fatigue state, which slows you down to almost a complete stop, force you to look down at the ground and darkness your vision. Even worse, the more you blink, the more fatigue builds up. So newer players will spend even more time in this state. This is so bad that some people just straight up giving up on nose after just one game. It just makes them sick, literally. It was such a problem that developers decided to actually buff Nurse back. She received normal launch distance, she could look down to reduce the distance of blink, and now she could blink between floors. Later, they also decided to rework her add-ons. And similarly to Billy, they also added a cooldown on her ability because that was such a fun the first time. Sally came to town with her husband Andrew. He was working as a lumberjack, a job with its perils. One day, Andrew's foreman had to pay Sally a visit, forever changing her life. She was alone, without food on the table and no other options. Sally had to find a way but the only employment she could get was at Crotus Prime Asylum. Over the years her mind reached its limits. Two decades of seeing horrid things that violate the eyes. Memories that are replayed every night. Being abused verbally and physically by people without limits. Sally saw insanity from the outside just to catch it herself. Finally, she couldn't take it anymore and concepts of purification emerge inside her. She did what she felt was necessary. As the morning staff arrived, they found over 50 dead patients. Only Sally had survived the night. But her mind was gone, rocking back and forth, non-stop. They got her into an ambulance, but it never reached the hospital. It was found crashed in nearby wood, all the stuff dead. And Sally, nowhere to be found. Okay, now let's check Sally's power for today. Before, they changed it to something else, like... I don't know, syringe darts? Oh wait, we already have that. Her power is Spencer Lost Breath. Who's Spencer? He was an asylum warden, and somehow his breath allows you to zoom through solid objects. Huh, go figure. But anyway, if you press your ability button, you will blink astonishingly... not so far. 
so please make sure that you hold your active button until you reach the desired destination. But how do you know when it's charged enough? Well, you would need to acquire a fill for this. That means that it takes time to become a good nurse. So if you're C1, don't be an asshole, give her a capital GG. In any case, you cannot charge beyond 20 meters by default. And you will see when the power is completely charged, once the nurse will clench her fist. If you have enough charges, you can blink a second time, but be mindful that you have a limited time to do so. Otherwise, you will enter fatigue state. And since we'll start talking about it... Nessa's biggest strength is her power. She doesn't have anything else going for her. Her stats are actually not that great. Full terror radius and movement speed slower than Survivor. But who cares if you can teleport across the map instantly and you don't need to worry about any trash lying around. Once you get a grip on her power, it would be very hard, if not impossible, for any survivor to get away from you. Meaning that her biggest weakness is you. Yep, it's definitely you. It requires a lot of practice to become a really good nurse. Even your first few games you will probably spend just trying to understand different ranges for different types of charges of your power. And even after you get the hold on it, good survivors can still give you a good chase. As you are moving slower than survivors, there will be some obstacles that might drive you crazy. Specifically, if there's many walls and windows in the same place, it will be really hard for you to pinpoint exactly where you need to blink to get the survivor. But again, experience makes the difference. Or you can slap some add-ons just to make your gameplay a little bit easier. Sally's add-ons were changed numerous times, as they were too powerful or too weak. But now, I guess they're just right? Tone bookmark will increase your blink count to 3, but it will also increase your recharge time. Batman lost breath grants undetectable after you hit a survivor. Campbell's lost breath will automatically blink at full charge after a full charge blink. General Lost Breath will allow you to blink back to where you started and will also give you one more blink to play with. And lastly, Kevin I Lost Breath. It will blind all survivors around you for 60 seconds. Taxic Respiration will reduce fatigue duration. Catatonic Boy's Treasure will reduce the chain blink fatigue. A Wooden Horse will reduce fatigue on missed attack. Rest of the add-ons give you minor updates, like heavy panting gives you a longer launch. And the rest are completely horrible add-ons, like Matchbox, that will increase your movement speed to 4.4, which is still pathetic, and it will also restrict you to just one blink, or Spasmodic Breath, which will increase your speed to 4.6 once you hit the survivor, but it will also disable your power for 60 seconds completely. Okay, but maybe perks would be better. Strider makes survivors cranes of pain and breathing louder, so you could hear the survivors through the wall and use it for easier blinks. Thanatophobia was nerfed to the ground. Now it slows down survivors repairing, sabotaging and cleansing by 2% per injured survivor. Yes, if somehow you'll manage to get them all injured, it will add additional 12%. And lastly, nurse calling. It will allow you to see aura of healing survivors within 28 meters, even though your terror radius is 32 meters. So don't expect them to stick around. Previously, I said that Billy get all information from aura reading perks, but this is nothing compared to what Nurse can get from the same perks. Darkness revealed with barbecue and chili and lethal pursuer can make Nurse into the most terrifying killer to deal with, even without any add-ons. And unlike Billy, every other overriding perk is also as available as these three. I'm not even sure if you need anything else. Why would you need the slowing down perks when you can simply kill everyone faster than they can finish a single gen? Or why would you need to chase helping perks when you don't care about loops, pilots or windows? Hmm, I guess you can still go for stealthy approach, but that wouldn't be as powerful as our reading. So be a good manchkin and get all of the maximum benefits. Target locked.
Nuss to this day is a very powerful killer that no one knows how to play. Because it's nauseating, annoying and altogether unpleasant. You would need to endure and get good with sloppy controls, fatigue state, double cooldown on ability and if you endure everything you will become the most feared killer and dead by daylight. And on the bright side, if you're not so good as a nurse, well, in both cases, games will finish very quickly.